Welcome to PokerStars Rivals, where this week Donnie Stern battles against Phil Helmuth. Get ready to put on your oven mitts, because in round one, things are going to get heated. Big slick for the big man, raised to 5,500. Phil's continuing to display his more aggressive preflop style we've seen this week. Andre looking at 10-3 suited and calling. Another, another four, then. I think the wheels may have finally come off Andre's race car. Donnie calls with his pocket pair. We can honestly say this is the first loose cannon who's playing like it's not his money. <laughs> first flop of the night. Queen, queen, eight, two spades. Helmuth checks. Andre checks. Everybody's missed, which means Donnie's pair of fives is best. He's looking at a continuation bet, even though this is going to be the best hand a decent percentage of the time. Donnie makes it 8,500. So far this week, Phil's had a hard time laying down ace high on the flop, especially to Donnie. Phil calls. Andre folds. Donnie actually doesn't look very strong, which is surprising because his hand isn't strong enough for him to be trying to look weak on purpose. Six of spades on the turn, okay. giving Helmuth the nut flush draw, and he checks. At this point, both players probably will want to just have a cheap showdown. There's the check by Donnie. The river, the seven of diamonds. Phil still only got ace high. Checks. Helmuth checks. Looks like Donnie's struggling with thoughts of value betting his fives. He has to wonder what worse hands will call him. Stern checks. Ace king. And Stern wins a pot of more than 34 grand. Pretty good check there. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's my favorite part. He had a lot of outs there. <laughs> same man, same I think you could have bluffed him too. I think Daniel's I could have bluffed him. If you bet the river, you're gonna fold, right, Donnie? He called the river. If he bet. For sure. If he bet $2,200. I would have raised. I would, I would, I would he could have bet $2,200, I think. Yeah. You guys are never smart enough to raise the right <laughs> amount. <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm talking about. What the man? That's just Phil's way of saying, nice hand, sir. And this is only the beginning. Welcome to round two, where backhanded compliments result in extreme blow-ups. Donnie, suited in the small blind, calls. Perlot also suited. This is a hand a lot of players would defend in the big line, especially against a steaming poker brat. And Friedman will do so. Three to the flop, which is nine jack six, top two for Helmuth. Phil's locking on the tractor beams. Stern, the first to act. Donnie's open-ended with an overcard. And bets 3,600, Friedman folds. And Phil raises to 15,000. Donnie was hoping to take it down with a semi bluff. Phil's just told Donnie where he can put that semi bluff. <laughs> Phil's raise is pretty big. On the off chance Donnie has a set, he's kind of painting himself into a corner. Keep in mind, you want players with draws to call you. Phil gets what he wants. Wow. Nice hand. <laughs> 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 the turn is the eight of hearts. Donnie's made it straight. Phil was just joking, but I think his mindset coach must be teaching him the secret or something. Or maybe instead of reading the book Blink, he accidentally read Bink. Donnie's in a great spot because he's got the nuts, and he's pretty sure Phil's got something big as well. Stern bets 25 grand. Helmuth quickly calls. The river. The seven of hearts. The only thing Donnie's worried about is the slim chance that Phil made runner, runner hearts. And since Phil made his big moves before the hearts came into play, Donnie can be pretty confident Phil didn't make a flush. Stern makes it 35,000. 
Phil's got to have a pretty good idea. He's beat now. There's a four card straight out there, three hearts. Phil has to wonder what hands would have called a huge raise on the flop and then led the turn in river. <laughs> is this for real? I mean, is, is are these hands for real? Phil's impression of David after dentist. Wow. Phil can't believe he's been run down again. He may be trying to talk himself into making a I can't be this unlucky call. Donnie's also given him pretty good odds to make this call. 35K more to win over 120, about four to one. Phil should maybe be suspicious of getting such a good price. Wow. What can I beat, I mean? I guess I can beat Jack-8. Phil's trying to figure out what hands he can beat, and that's why this is taking so long. There aren't any. All right. Phil calls. Ejector seat in three, two, one, blast off. I'm shocked he called. I'm really, I, I didn't think he was gonna call these yeah, hands for real. Dad, I don't know what you could have to call the raise and just fire, that was weird. I thought you were gonna lay that one down, brother. Nice hand, buddy. Nice hand, buddy, where's my blow up? Okay, I'll lead it off, you wanna go? I mean, what the f That's more like it. Peel an eight off for me, can't come up. So? That was so sick. You can't find a queen on the turn so that he can lose like 50,000 almost dead or... <laughs> no. Johnny raises. Frickin' guy, just an eight. Put in 15,000 to draw to an open under. <laughs> Finally decided to play a big hand with the big, with the nuts. And they f***ing hit their miracle there too. I thought you said you had 10-8. I didn't think you were that stupid to believe it, but... Maybe you are. <laughs> I mean, I think you're stupid enough to call, Bam. but since we're making, straight, making personal attacks already. Yeah, another bad winner, huh? I'm a bad winner? Is that what you're didn't saying? Didn't you just say that I, didn't you say I was just stupid enough to Didn't call? you just say I was stupid enough to believe you? Yeah, I'm you? a bad loser. You're 10 times as bad as a bad winner. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You I sh because I shot it back, I shot it back at you after you just called me stupid, so I'm the bad winner? Are you kidding me? You, you needled me about having 10 8. For I some didn't needle reason. you. You said I had 10 8. Obviously, I was kidding. So you needled obviously me about you're that. Kidding. So Why I is said that obvious? Something you back called the you. river when there was a force to a straight on the board. Why is it obvious that you didn't have 10 8? Good stuff. Well, how <laughs> okay. could it possibly okay, okay. be obvious See, that you didn't have See, here's the beautiful thing. You honestly don't think you've been out of line at all. And that's amazing to me. That's what? I know that I've been out of line, but I'm a man. I admit it. Now's your chance. You're 23. I don't think you could admit it. Admit that I'm out of line? Are you kidding me? Wow. Do they, they capture all this for, for the camera? God, I hope so. I think we might get that. It's time for the final round where even the nicest of deeds are frowned upon. He made the first then, comment about the 10 8. Did you call him stupid first? I mean, how old are we? Yeah. This is ridiculous. You said, I didn't think you were stupid enough to believe me that I had 10 8. So you're essentially saying, oh, I guess he is that stupid. Yeah, and then you, actually, then he did say that. He did then say, I guess you are that stupid. What did you say about the 10 8? Well, why, why, why did you make yeah. that comment to me back? Why did you, why, that started it to me. You said something about. So I started, oh. it's who started it now. That's what you're arguing about? I mean, Phil. You guys both. We're adults here. Well, I think he reacted, though, to you. I, don't, I didn't hear the 10 8 part. What did you say there? No, he I'm said he needled, me, he needled me with the 10 8 first. And what, then do you I, and then what, I, what do you mean, needled you? Said some comment about he was needling me. Oh, yeah, I thought you had 10 8. No, I didn't. Phil, so you oh, said. Oh, you didn't say that? No, oh. I didn't. So you didn't say anything about 10 8? No. You said oh, you had 10 8. You said you had 10 8. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I said. Obviously, I was kidding. Why, why should I know you were kidding? I mean, you were saying it. You, every other time you say what you had, and this time I'm supposed to know. So he said you had 10 and you laughed about it or something? No, I didn't. No, he, no, he, he, made, he made some clever comment. Phil, Phil. But the thing is, the thing is, all I wanted to do is admit that he had a partner, and he didn't. So, I mean, what a surprise. Well, if you want to straddle, you're allowed, you're allowed to, Phil. What a surprise. You're absolutely so you think I'm like no, trying to start not. something? I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to, to make a beef here. I'm just. No, that's I'm, not. I'm that's just not defending. The point. I'm just, I just defending asked myself. If you were out of line at all, and you said no, 
I guess you that's said, what you're saying. You were the saying. first one to say, I guess you are that stupid. And then he said, Phil, I said that, of course. So. I admit Phil. that I was out of line. Okay. Here, I just asked here, you to admit you're out of line, and you I'll, said no. Phil, listen. That's fine. I, 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 I the public look, and I, I know, can watch I know, that. I know you were just. And, we're, and just... we'll see. We'll see if we'll see if you can find like one percent to agree that you weren't out of line a little bit. I mean, if you want to take it there, <laughs> if you want to take 1%? it there, that's fine. Okay. Phil, I'm not trying to to start anything. I'm not trying to 5, do anything. I didn't mean to to hurt you or offend you in any way. I was just I was just sort of I was just saying back what you Same said to me. Cash. I guess that's an interesting question for viewers at home. If someone calls you stupid first, is it okay? Are you equally out of line if you call them stupid back? That's the question, because he did that. You called him stupid, and then he said, no, you're stupid. So what about like, the 10 eights where it started, where he needled some subtle needle about 10 eights? Um, he said, so didn't you so have 10 eight? And he had the smug look on his face. Oh. But you Rewind said you had that 10 back. Smug look. Which right. he didn't believe. I'm guilty of the smug look. You are. Smug, you smugger you. He tipped you $5? Here, you, all you do is deal. <laughs> Here, you take that. Didn't we talk about this before? <laughs> You are just all class, Phil. It's up to you, Mr. Stern. Just all class. You're really handling yourself well. You're the big Phil. winner on the table. You Phil. just won every pot. Phil. You just put bad beats on. Uh, put a bad beat on me. And now, uh, and, and now, now and now you're trying to show me up, right? Because I only tip five dollars. Can't you just shut up and say? Can't you just <laughs> shut up and say? Uh, yeah, maybe you're right, Phil. Maybe I should have tipped more. Wouldn't that just be the perfect universe where everyone just said, "Okay, you're right, Phil." Right? That would just be perfect for you. I like this stuff, it's fun. I mean, I know you're, you're more used to getting irate at the table, so you probably think if you can get everyone around. I'm a man, I admit when I'm wrong. So, okay. I, for what I said, I was wrong. All right, that's what I admit. What do you what do you want of me? You want me to say I'm sorry that I that I that I called you stupid? No, I don't want you, I don't expect you to do anything. All I say is I'm wrong. Here we can. Donnie, now you're supposed to say you're wrong. And that was it for tonight. Hope you enjoyed this Rivals Battle. Don't forget, use the comments below to let us know who you think won this match. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.